We're in New York City in Union Square, and we're just out in the streets here finding out if people are optimists or pessimists. How are you folks doing? Do I have to catch anything? <laughs> no, no. Okay. Would you say that you're an optimist or a pessimist? Uh, well, it certainly depends on the day. I've never uh, taken that question seriously. I would say I'm an optimist, an for optimist. sure. I would say I'm a pessimist, yeah. OK. Yeah. How do you think that affects your day-to-day -day life? I think it slows me down a little bit. I'm an optimist. You're an optimist. I'm definitely an optimist. And, and why, why would you say that? But just look around you. It's beautiful out. <laughs> yeah. You know? Right. You know? Not a cloud. There's hardly a cloud in the sky. I'm alive. I'm here with you guys. Yeah. yeah. Can you think of one time when it was harder to be an optimist? Jeez. Last semester, I was doing a bio class, biology. Right? And first two tests, I completely failed. I um, lost both of my parents at a very young age. You know, my life was, was headed in the wrong direction. A lot of depression. I've been in the wheelchair for 19 years, so. Maybe every time I was scraping by, wondering what I was going to eat for the next, uh, next meal. So I slept on the floor on a towel for like three weeks, and then I was like saving up to buy a bed. But it got better. There was always something good to look forward to, no matter what situation you're in. When you get that meal, there you go. It doesn't have to be that you, you win the lottery. Something small is still that much important. My life experience showed me that being a pessimist and uh, being desperate brings to nothing. And there are definitely days where I have to remind myself, like, take advantage of your time here. My wife had cancer and I took care of her for five years. We used to travel with her cancer and the reason was because we always thought that it's going to be bad. Of course cancer could kill and it killed her, yeah. but we, we enjoyed life to the fullest. Bad situations. It might seem like bad situations because of what I was taught. That that's a really good time to sort of try to flip it and think about what you've got to be grateful for. But like, at least I have, you know, my sight, my feelings, my hearing. Now I'm working as a software developer. You know, I went from just, you know, scraping by to where I am yeah. now. I have a 98-year-old grandmother who's an eternal optimist. Yeah. I think it's how she's stayed healthy and happy. That's, that's what's good about being an optimist is you can always look ahead enjoy the present as opposed to lamenting it. And if you don't like your present, change your present. That's why it's the future. Thank you so much for watching that video. Your stories are our stories, so keep them coming. Your stories are fuel to us. Share with us on social. Email us at fuel at lifeisgood.com. Here's the link to our website. And more videos right here.